everyone. Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I haven't been having a very good day in, in the uh, studio here today. I've just been doing these MDF um, placemats and nothing I'm doing is particularly working well for me. So I tried a double dip. I didn't like it. Did all sorts of things. So that's the base that I'm left with. So I thought, well, I can use this as a base and um, maybe put some blooms on this on top of that. So that would be all right. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to load up some colors here. I'm going to put a bit of white, which is very thin, on the bottom of the blooms. And I'm just going to do these blooms around like this. Maybe this way, actually. Around like that. So I'm just going to put this white, which is just the um, Araldo white mixed with Australian Floetrol and it's very thin consistency this, much thinner than I'd usually use. The idea is that um, I'm hoping it might create some cells even though it's underneath instead of on top. So we'll see what happens. And I'm just going to put on the top of that the Montmartre Satin Scarlet. My hands, looks like I've put my hands through a mincing machine. Just going to put load up some red. And I'm going to do some little green leafy bits, which I'll put some black onto, and I'll blow those out first. And I don't mind this much, um, you know, the background. It's quite nice with a bit of gold in there. Put a teeny bit of gold into the petals here, just at the bottom there. I don't want too much in there. And then my little bit of black cell activator into all of those. This is the Amsterdam Oxide Black. I think it might even have a tiny bit of um, the global in there as well. I just sort of mixed it up into a container that I already had. Just put that on there. don't want too much on there. I'm just going to use my um, heat embossing tool actually. I've had a bit of success at blowing out smaller blooms with that. So we will try it. Now I wouldn't use this um, on paint if you've used house paint because I think it will cause um, a film. This shouldn't with this paints that I'm using if, if, as long as I don't do it for too long. So we'll just do the little um, Actually, I'll do these with a straw first. So that's just a straw that I've uh, flattened the end of. And off we go. I'll just excuse the back of my head. Okay, now I hope to make my uh, flowers go over the top of the greenery there. lost all our green here we've got a bit here and here it needs to be blown out a bit more I'll just do that by mouth it's better OK, 
okay. So they look quite pretty on this um, mottled background. And that white certainly created cells, which is great. So I'll just get a skewer now and draw some of the um, shape in. I'm just using a large skewer. And I'll just draw in the bit of shape into these little flowers. So when I do this, I try not to upset the cells in the middle there, if I can. leaf just there seeing as that one disappeared on me I need a bit of greenery up there and a little bit of the black and just blow it out again excuse my head there we go and give it a bit of shape a bit of a strange shape so I'll try and give it a bit more shape. That one's disappeared so that's all right just puts a little bit of green around. This one hmm, not sure what's happened over here. I need to do another little leaf over there I think. Maybe redefine this one too. So you can just you know tweak how you like just keep doing little tweaks until you get what you want. Okay. I would use my mini blower, but it stopped working. It keeps on cutting out, which is annoying. Quite often do my little um, leaves two-toned, but I decided just to use the one colour today. And just a tissue, draw a bit of shape. Quite like these. It's quite a pretty piece actually. I mean, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but um, with the double dip sort of base here with the gold and white and red going through it. And then these flowers with their white that's come up from underneath, a bit of black, gold and the red and then the green leaves. That's quite a pretty composition. So I, I feel like I've um, achieved something there today. And that will make a nice placemat. So, I shall bring you down for a close-up. Okay, so here we are coming down for the close-up. I think this is a design that I will um, do on a few of these placemats for Christmas. I quite like this. So as you can see, I've got that background that was created by the double dip that I then just sort of mished together. And then we've got these lovely little leaves and the flowers with just the, the red, the gold, the black and the white and more leaves, another lovely little bloom and a leaf. So quite simplistic but quite pretty too. So once that's got a coat of resin on it um, with some glitter of course, I think that will be quite lovely. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. It's one of those days for me. 
um, but I'm quite happy with the end result here. Okay, so I'll see you back in Studio 33 in the not too distant future. Until then, bye bye. Thank you.